Implicit mate connectors can be edited after the mate is created. Remember, implicit mate connectors are the mate connectors created within a mate feature. These mate connectors belong to the mate and can be found in the mate features list by expanding the mate. You would choose to edit an implicit mate connector if you need to adjust the orientation or alignment of a mate connector's axis or change the position of the mate connector. To edit an implicit mate connector, right click on the mate connector and select edit. In this example, let's create a pin slot mate between the peg and the slot in the handle. However, notice the slot edge is not parallel to the x-axis of the mate connector associated to the slot. The pin slot mate allows translation in the x-direction, so we need to align the x-axis of the mate connector to the slot edge. After the mate is created, let's expand the pin slot mate in the mate features list and find the mate connector to edit. Notice as I hover over each mate connector in the mate features list, the associative geometry highlights in the graphics area. This makes it easy to identify the correct mate connector to edit. Right click and choose edit. In this example, we need to realign the secondary axis. Check the realign checkbox and click into the secondary axis entity selection box. Then I select the edge of the slot to align the x-axis of the mate connector to be parallel to. Notice the x-axis rotates slightly to align to the edge of the slot. I accept the edit. In this example, we needed to realign the implicit mate connector with respect to the part geometry. In other applications, you might need to move or adjust the primary and secondary alignment with other options in the Mate Connector dialog. These options allow you to move the Mate Connector, flip the primary axis, and reorient the secondary axes.